Today we're starting 5.1, Introduction to Quadratic Functions. We are skipping Chapter 4, like I said before. First thing, a quadratic function. All that a quadratic function is, it's any function that can be written as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. We're going to show that f of x equals 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 5 is a quadratic function. f of x is just a fancy word that says we have a function, which means y. What do I need to do here? How can I show that it's a quadratic? I need to distribute. When I distribute, I use FOIL. What's 2x times 3x? 6x squared. What's 2x times 5? 10x. I'm done with the first term. What's negative 1 times 3x? Negative 3x. And what's negative 1 times 5? Negative 5. I always try to simplify if possible. Let's see. That's the only 6x squared, so I put that there. I have two single x's. What's 10x minus 3x? plus 7x, and I'm left with minus 5. So I'm left with 6x squared plus 7x minus 5. To be a quadratic function, I have ax squared plus bx plus c. What's my a in this problem? My a is just 6. My b is 7. The c is negative 5. that? It's a negative 5 because there's a negative in front of the 5. Because it should be positive, positive, positive on the a, b, and c. That is a quadratic function. You can have positive or negative numbers. It makes it a lot easier if they're written in highest degree to the lowest. So x squared, x, and then just a single number. Now, graphing a quadratic function. <laughs> Don't be scared by these. The only thing that makes these hard right now is if I don't have my calculator. All I'm going to do, turn on my calculator, go to y equals. A lot of your calculators probably have the x1 and the y1 with the t's. You need to change it back. So make sure you go to mode. Yours probably says par. Change it back to function. Now your y equals has changed. I type it in. 6x squared plus 7x minus 5. I'm going to hit zoom 6. What shape do I have here? It's not a V, it's actually a U. All quadratic functions are U-shaped, which are called parabolas. So your graph looks something like this. I just sketched it real quick. If you really want something better,
There. That's what it looks like. What well, I can make this one fatter. How can I make this one fatter? Zoom in. All this is is just how it looks on that screen. So I could have zoomed in. There. Now it's really big. What we're going to do this chapter is learn a lot about quadratics. Right now we're just dealing with using the calculator and looking at them. Eventually, throughout the chapter, I'm going to show you how to graph these without using a calculator and what we can use a quadratic for. Bless you. Okay, first thing I want you to do. Show that f of x equals 4x plus 1 times 4 minus x is a quadratic function. So distribute first. All right, to distribute this, I'm going to take 4x times 4 is 16x. 4x times negative x, negative 4x squared. Then I'm going to take 1 times 4, 4, and 1 times negative x is negative x. Now when I'm working with quadratics, I always want to write the x squared term first. So my first term I have is negative 4x squared. Okay, now I look at my x's. What's 16x and negative x? 15x. And I'm just left with 4. Now, if I graph this one, I have negative 4 x squared plus 15x plus 4. When I hit graph, I'll just hit zoom 6 because I zoomed out. I sort of see it. Okay, so this one, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so I see the picture. It's almost right. I, I did zoom 0. What happens to my graph? It's upside down. Why do you think this one was upside down, but this one was like this? What did you think? This number out front. This one was a negative 4, right? This one was a positive 6. If, if I have a positive number for my a. If a is positive, it's called it's concave up. If an a is negative, it's going to be like this. It's going to be called concave down. Concave down. It's pointing down. It's the shape. Now to graph this, I'm just going to take, trying to find a better graph to see everything. For right now, yes. I hit the wrong one. I wanted to see the whole thing. There's the graph, right? It's kind of skinny just because I zoomed out. I'll zoom box a little bit down, a little bit over, enter. 
Yeah, that's what I want to see. And I was trying to mess around with the zooms to see the best one. There, I made a box. That way I can see the whole arc. So the graph looks something. like this. Now every parabola has a couple things. And that's what we're going to look at in this one. Oh, I wanted to know the vertex. We're going to find the vertex. What do you think the vertex is? What do you mean by middle? It's okay, I heard a couple things. Point, middle, top. You're talking about this right here, right? That's called the vertex also on this one. The vertex is down here. We c it's, yeah, because it's upside down. The vertex is always the lowest point or the highest point. What do you think we call the lowest point? The bottom. Not bottom. The lowest point is called the minimum. The highest point is called the maximum. So there's our graph. The vertex is right here. In order to find the vertex, remember the last test we just took? Remember we looked at the vertex, the highest point? We, we didn't call it a vertex. We just called it the highest point. Then it went back down. Now, your work, yes. When we did this on our test, we just traced, right? To find out how high this went, we just traced and found out the highest point is about 18. What I'm going to show you now is a better way. I know it's in between here and here, right? Looking at my x values, what's this x value here? 2, and this one over here is about? One. What would I call that point? A maximum or a minimum? That's my maximum. If I do second trace, that brings the calculate menu up. Second trace brings up the calculate menu. Wait. So we could have did that on our test, right? Correct. No, I just wanted you to know how to manipulate it. Second, trace, we want the maximum. You have, to, you have to know which one you're looking for. If I'm looking for the maximum point or the minimum point, I want the maximum, so I hit 4. The first thing it says on your screen, left bound. I need to tell the calculator, look between two points. What did I say this point's about? One. Just to be safe, give me a number that's lower than one. Zero. I'm just going to hit zero. Hit enter. Notice right here it puts a little arrow. Okay, what did we say this point over here was about? Give me a better number. That's a little bit more. Three. So I type three. Press enter. Notice how it said it's over here. You're telling the calculator you're looking in between these two points for the highest point. It wants a guess. For right now it doesn't matter. So I press enter again. What's my highest point? It, my, it's, my coordinates are my coordinates are 1.87 comma 18.06. Now I could have done this another way. Second trace maximum. You know how we just typed in zero and three? I know the maximum's up here. Instead of typing in zero, I just press the arrow to the left, press enter. Press the arrow to the right of it, press enter. I don't have to type in numbers, I can use the arrows to move left and right. Press enter again, it still tells me the same answer. What I want to do here, is we want to graph this.
Look, we want to be accurate when we put it on paper. I need to graph it in the calculator first. So hit y equals. I'm going to type it in. x squared plus x minus 6. Now without graphing, is it concave up or concave down? Why is it concave up? Because the A is positive. Now, if it's concave up, is that going to be a max or a min point? It, well, I know it's going to be a minimum. It's just things I need to know before I do anything. All right. Zoom, six. There's my graph. I need to find the vertex, which you just told me was the minimum point. So second, trace, minimum. So three. All right, the minimum's right about here, right? Which, okay, it's close to zero, right? So what do I, just give me a number to the left. To the left is one, negative one. Just to be safe, though, I should probably use negative two. Just to be safe. Press enter. Now I need a right bound. Uh, one. one. Yeah, I know it's that's a cutoff point, so I'll use one. Doesn't matter what numbers you pick, as long as it's to the left and it's to the right. I could have picked negative 500, positive 500, but what's the problem? It's so far, it's going to take the calculator so long to check every single thing. You don't need a guess right now. What we're going to get to next year in pre-calc is we're going to have more than one minimum. Hit enter, enter. Where's my vertex at? Vertex is at negative 0.5 and negative 0.6. 6.25. So now I'm going to graph this. Did you do zoom 6? All right, negative 0.5 is negative half. Negative 6.25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit. I know my vertex is right there. So for right now, I can just take and make my graph like this. This isn't how everyone is going to be. We're just going in a process. I'm showing you this one point first. Yes. We don't need protractors. Okay, you'll just wait. Yep. It's always going to be the max or the min. So what I want you to try to find, just find the vertex for g of x here. In your calculator. I type in negative x squared plus 4x plus 5. I'm going to zoom 6. When I graph this, this is going to be my maximum. Sec Number 1, I can tell if it's a max or min just by looking here. If it's positive, it's a min. If it's negative, it's a max. Zoom, trace. It's my maximum, so four. I need a left bound. I'm just, I can use arrows, I can use numbers. I can use the arrows and go, okay, I'm left of it. I'm the right of it, hit enter. I don't care what the guess is. My vertex is at 
don't write 2.00000006. Just write 2, 9. So your answer is 2, fit, or 2, 9. Questions on this? Without a calculator, these are hard. Then you might have had it zoomed in wrong. I'll look. All right. This, I'll look at it. This, in words, is what we just went over. For maximum and minimum values, the graphs of all quadratics are parabolas. If the A in a quadratic is greater than zero, it's positive. Then the parabola opens up and the vertex is the minimum point. That's called the minimum value. Right. This is everything we just did in words. If A is less than zero, meaning if the front is negative, the parabola opens down and the vertex is its highest point. That highest point is called the maximum. Is it, is it, what are they called, the cave? Concave up and concave down. If you understand everything on this page and how to use the calculator, that's what this lesson is. And that's it.